Welcome in the chemistry education video lecture series. In this video, we are going to see the volumetric analysis. Under this volumetric analysis, the neutralization titrations. The volumetric analysis is one of the quantitative analytical method where we can find out the unknown concentration when we compare with the other solutions with known concentration. This is the balancing reaction. Now in balancing reaction, what happened? One solution is taken into the flask and other solution when we are adding from the burette and we are adding the some indicator which shows the change in color when the flask solution interact with the burette solution with equimolar. And then the indicator changes its color and this is the end point of the titration and from that one can understood from the measuring the volume required to complete the titration we can find out exactly the unknown concentration in terms of either normality or molarity. Now in this video the volumetric analysis for neutralization titrations now neutralization, the name itself meaning the when the acid react with base to give the formation of neutral solution. Now in this video, the neutralization titration, neutralization titration for strong acid, strong base. We'll take the example. We'll take the example for neutralization titration for weak acid and strong base and neutralization titration for strong acid with weak base. Now when we are thinking about the neutralization reaction, A is a acid, B is a base. Now when in acid, when base is added, the base react with acid to give the formation of water and salt. Now this is the acid base titration reaction to give the formation of neutral solution. That is acid get neutralized by the base. Therefore this reaction is called as neutralization reaction. Now in titration what happened? A is acid which is kept into the conical flask and from the burette we are adding the base. Therefore acid, whatever the acidity of the, this solution get decreases towards the neutral solution because B base react with acid to give the formation of water and salt. Now in this reaction some terms are there related to the Ka that is equilibrium constant for acid, Kb is equilibrium constant for base, Kw is the equilibrium constant for water, alpha is the degree of dissociation but here acid and base completely ionize. Then Ksp is the solubility product constant, S is the solubility, pH is the concentration or strength or proteins are of hydrogen ion present in the solution. pK is the negative logarithm of equilibrium constant for acid. pKb is the equilibrium P, uh, minus log of concentration of the, the uh, equilibrium constant for the base. pK ion that is ion is the indicator and with respect to indicator the equilibrium constant for the indicator or negative logarithm of the indicator concentration. Now in this way we are going to study the neutralization reactions. Now in the neutralization reaction generally what happens acid react with base and get neutralized with the, each other and it can be determined with the help of the titration, the titrometric volumetric analysis. Now indicators when we are thinking about the indicator which shows the change in color after the end point, some indicator shows the change in color at equivalence point, 
some indicators change, shows the change in the uh, uh, neutralization point and some of them they shows the change in color at a particular ph when the ph of the solution it changes the color of the solution is uh, changes because indicator shows the change in color now indicators are the organic acids weak acids or weak bases or maybe a from it has a natural occurrence like from the colors of the fruits color of the flowers now these type of color pigments they are act as an indicator but some indicators useful for some type some type of titrations like acid base titration some are complex metric titration some of them are precipitation titration some of them are the redox titrations now the variety of the indicators are there now in the acid base neutralization reaction we are using the indicators these indicators are the acid base indicators or neutralization indicators now some of them are one color indicator some of them are two color indicator some of them are three color indicators now one color indicator that means the indicator shows the color in one of the medium either acid neutral or base two color indicator that is the two positions that is either acid base or neutral in two uh, phases or two solutions they shows the color and one in one uh, it shows the colorless and three color indicator that is acid base and neutral in all these three positions the indicator shows the different color now in this way three color indicator two color indicator one color indicator can be used now when you are thinking about the indicator what is it shows the change in color it depend on how much it dissociate that is alpha is the degree of dissociation on this factor the you know, indicator shows the change in color at a particular ph or ph range now for example h ion is the indicator when it dissociate into h plus plus ion minus indicator now h plus is the acidic form ion minus is the basic form now when you, we apply the mark, law of mass action to this equation to the dissociate equation then kin equal to equilibrium constant for the indicator equal to concentration of the ions or product of the ions uh, divided by the concentration of the reactant present therefore concentration of h plus into concentration of ion minus divided by the concentration of h ion how much it is dissociated on this basis the equilibrium constant is dependent now from this equation we can find out the concentration of hydrogen ion present in the solution from this we can write the k ion in is equal to the concentration of h ion that is a present in the unreacted form that is a acidic form and divided by the concentration of the base form how much it is dissociated and therefore from this equation we can find out the ph ph equal to pk ion minus log of acid form to the base form and therefore ph equal to the pk ion now acid form and base form these are the uh, forms or concentrations when they are in the multiples of the 10 10 to -1 10 to 1 10 to 2 10 to 3 or 10 to -2 minus -3 minus like that now when they are in the 10th form then the indicator the ph of the solution equal to the pk ion plus or minus 1 now in this range of the ph uh, ph range the indicator shows the change in color it may be a, within the plus or minus 1 that is related to the 3 ph range that is from 4 to 7 6 6 to 9 like that now in this way the ph of the um, solution of the indicator changes its color or sensitive in between the that ph and therefore for a particular ph we can select the particular uh, or specific indicator now when we are thinking about when we plot the graph of the ph versus the titrant that added this is a called as a neutralization titration curves and in the neutralization reaction what happen the three points we observed first point is the end point second is the equivalence point and third is a neutralization point now when we know that when acid react with base then when we are adding the equal moles and then they interact with each other to give the formation of water and salt and when water and salt is formed the ph of the solution when equilibrium constant of water is equal to 7 at a neutral point and when such a situation occur when acid react with base then we are calling it is a neutralization point where the ph of the solution is exactly equal to the 7 
Now, when exact equivalent quantities of the acid and base are added to during the titration, now this point is occurred. This is called as equivalence point. When maybe a in neutralize some neutralization point, the equivalence point and neutralization point may be the same. But in case of the end point, end point is depend on the when the indicator shows the change in color. That point is called as the end point of the titration. Therefore, this point uh, which shows the change in color uh, during the titration. Therefore, these three points are there. But in neutralization reaction, in many neutralization reactions, when acid react with base, the equivalence point and neutralization points are same. End point may be before the equivalence point or maybe after the before, uh, equivalence point. It depends on what indicator we are using. Now, in this way, uh, these three points are present in the neutralization. Now, when we are taking the first example as neutralization titration for the strong acid and strong base. Now, when strong acid and strong base, now it is related to the uh, when uh, acid is a 0.1 normal HCl is taken into the flask and 0.1 normal NaOH is taken into the burette. Now, when acid uh, kept here, uh, placed into the conical flask, we are adding the phenolphthalein indicator. And when we are adding the uh, NaOH solution from the burette drop by drop, as a 0 ml addition, we, uh, we are calculating the pH from the calculations that is pH equal to the 1, uh, exactly 1. When you are adding the 2 ml, then the pH of the solution gone increases because 2 ml NaOH react with the 2 ml of HCl. And it remains only the 23 ml of HCl, but volume is increases from 25 to 27. And therefore, the pH of the solution is increases from 1 to 1.07. As we go on adding, the pH is continuously going increases. And when you are adding the exactly 25 ml uh, NaOH solution, then this is the equal volume of the NaOH and HCl. Exactly this 20 m 5 ml, uh, 0.1 normal and 25 ml, 0.1 normal NaOH, they interact with each other to give the exactly the cons, uh, neutral solution and pH of the solution equal to 7. We can calculate on the basis of the pKa value and equilibrium constant for the water. This is the pH equal to the exactly 7. But when we are adding the next drop, suddenly the 7 pH is suddenly gone increases and when you reaches to the 6, 26 ml of NaOH is added, 1 ml is extra than the neutralization point, then pH of the solution is increases up to the 11.29 and as we go on increasing the up to the 30 ml, the pH of the solution is gone increases 11.96. Now when we are taking the another example, like titration between the weak acid and strong base, now weak acid is taken as a 0.1 normal acetic acid which is kept into the or taken into the flask and when we are adding the 25 ml of 0.1 normal NaOH solution from the burette drop by drop then it is observed that the when you are adding the 0 ml that is a, only for the acetic acid the pH of the solution is equal to the you know, 2.88 because when acetic acid dissociate into the some degree of dissociation and from that uh, degree of dissociation and uh, uh, SP that is related to this uh, the value uh, KSP and from that KSP we can find out the pH of the solution is 2.88. When we are adding the 5 ml from the burette the 5 ml of NaOH get react with the 5 ml of acetic acid and it remains just, just only the 20 ml of the acetic acid and from 20 ml we can find out the pH of the solution is equal to 4.24. As we go on increases from the 5 ml to the third uh, 25 ml, then the pH of the solution is gone increases up to the 8.7. And this 8.7 at the equivalence point we are calculating with the help of the uh, equilibrium constant for water, acid, and what is the concentration. Uh, for this concentration, we have to find out the concentration of the acetic acid remain in the solution. And then when you add the 1 ml, immediately the suddenly the, it changes the pH or increases 11.29 and for 30 ml it is 11.95. In this way the pH is gone increases and at equivalence point the pH of the solution is 8.72 and for this we are using the phenolphthalein indicator here it shows the change in color as a pink color. Now in third case the neutralization titration for the strong acid and weak base. Now strong acid is taken as a HCl which is taken into the burette and in the flask we are taking the weak base that is ammonium hydroxide which has a concentration 0 0.1 normal and when we are adding here then what happened at the 0 ml HCl addition that is the 
pH of the uh, ammonium hydroxide is calculated as a pH equal to 2.88, that is the pH equal to 11.12. And when we are adding the HCl from the uh, burette, then uh, the, they interact with the ammonium hydroxide and gets, goes on uh, the pH of the solution go on decreases. Now here, uh, at the 25 ml, the pH of the solution is 5.27, and this is a before the neutralization, uh, before the uh, neutralization point. Neutralization point is a 7 uh, pH, but before that, the end point of the titration. Here we are not using the ferrofin indicator. We have to use the methyl red indicator. It shows the change in color from initially the pH of the solution is maximum. Therefore. It shows a red color and when we are adding the HCl from the burette, it is shown that after certain time, this um, color, it changes to red color to the yellow color. And this yellow color shows at before the pH of the 5.7 and therefore we are saying that this is the end point of the titration. Therefore, methyl red indicator is a suitable or best indicator for this titration. But in case of strong acid, strong base, or even that is the weak acid strong base, we are using the phenolphthalein indicator, but for this titration, we are using the methyl red indicator. The next example is related to the neutralization titration for weak acid and weak base. But for this titration, the no suitable indicator is used, but we have to use the mixture of the two indicators and which shows the change in color because this change in color is a very starting, uh, both are weak and therefore pH is, uh, not starting from the lower pH or higher pH, but in between that, the, the lower margin, the uh, neutralization point, equivalence point, and end point of the titration is there. And therefore, bromothymol blue indicator may be used. But in this case, what happened? We are not observing the, exactly the way in the color changes, uh, sharp uh, color change is not observed. For this purpose, we have to use the two indicators. Uh, in this way, uh, for the neutralization titration for the different examples, we uh, see that uh, theory of the indicator, neutralization titration for the strong acid, strong base with the example. Similarly, for the weak acid, strong base, strong acid and weak base. Now, in this way, uh, we are uh, known about this. Uh... <laughs>